Hello, this is Nick with nickscomputerfix.com and here's a quick video on Windows Movie Maker, a tutorial for beginners, how to split, trim, and edit a movie. Okay, let's open up Movie Maker from Microsoft. Once you have it open, let's go ahead and add a video. We can either click on this little icon here and add a video or up on the ribbon menu we can click on add videos and photos and once we do it opens up the file manager within Windows and we can go down here and locate our video that we want to edit mines in videos and wildlife videos folder and I'm gonna go ahead and select a video here the one I'm gonna pick on is um, alligator I'm not actually going to pick on it. I'm going to select it. And once I do, I'm going to go down here and click on Open. And that brings it into um, Windows Movie Maker. Now, if it's the first time that you brought this video into Movie Maker, um, what Movie Maker does is it prepares the file so that it's easier to edit um, within Movie Maker. And this takes a few minutes, so you have to have a few uh, moments of patience. And once it's done processing and making the video 100% um, compatible with Movie Maker, it is um, going to go ahead and bring it into the larger preview screen. And at this point, we can click on the play button here and we can actually preview the video. And in this case, it's um, a video of an alligator that I uh, happened to capture out on a lake uh, nearby. And over here, we can see where we can also um, move this little guideline here. I call this the edit guideline. And we can move it, and you can see that the um, video will uh, move back and forth to different positions. And we can also use this as well. Now, on this guideline, we can go ahead and trim a little bit off the front of this video by positioning it where we'd like to have it. Um, trimmed and we can also look at the time down here and if we right click on this guideline we can see the menu and click on split and it will split the video and this is the portion that we're going to go ahead and get uh, rid of by clicking on remove that was a right click on the menu and uh, once we've done that that uh, front part of the video is now removed from the video and we can go ahead and click on play and see that that um, holds true. Now we can also go up here and um, click right here and undo the editing that we just did which was the splitting of the video and I click on it twice now we have the original video um, in its complete form once again and clicking on play we can see that um, it's all back together in one piece. Now if we move the um, editing guideline here into the middle and right click and bring up the menu and we can also split the video or do multiple things um, or options that are available here to this video if we choose to. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, click on split. And uh, once we do, it'll split this video right in the middle between um, frame one and frame two is what we end up with. Now, another cool thing that we can do within uh, Windows Movie Maker is we can select a frame and move that frame um, either to the rear or to the front of the video or vice versa and we can go down here and click on the play and see that the sequence of the um, video has been altered um, depending on rather you moved it to the front or to the rear and once you're finished doing that um, of course we can go ahead and do on another little thing here um, by adding a special effects to um, one of our frames of our video here. And let's go ahead and select um, video frame one and go up here and click on an animation. And uh, right here we have special effects. And I'm going to click on this one here 
and it actually flips the video so at the beginning of frame one and the beginning of the video when I click on play the video um, actually flips and uh, gives me some special effects now I can also do that on frame two as well um, and do the same special effects or choose a different one um, in this case I'm gonna just go ahead and select the same one I kinda like this uh, flipping of the video that's my personal preference and as you can see by this little triangle that the special effect is in both positions or both frames and then we hit the play and you see that the uh, the flipping of the video did uh, take place okay another tip that I would like to show you while we're talking about the um, adding stuff to the video um, once we've split and trimmed it is add a photo by clicking on add video or photo and locating it on our hard drive and I'm gonna select this one right here the crane bird um, and it's a still picture of a crane bird and since this is a wildlife video I could kind of put it in here but it doesn't necessarily fit but um, obviously you see what um, we're getting at is that you can add a photo um, to your video and put it anywhere you like within your video um, so let's go ahead and remove that photo and one other thing that I would like to show you is that we can also right click and click on add video from the menu and I'm going to add another video in this case um, this is um, crane birds in flight video and as you can see yeah, it's pretty cool huh um, that's a single crane bird flying and if we go ahead and uh, well let me play a little bit longer here so you can see the rest of it and see the second um, crane bird come up there are a couple and they have a nice little landing I like that at any rate um, what we can also do is go ahead and put a um, transition between the two wildlife videos and we can click there and put a flip here and we can go ahead and as you can see um, it went ahead and flipped the video there but um, oh I guess it didn't work on the uh, on the second one here let me try it one more time um, it's good to confirm that it does work there we go I have it there now and um, it uh, gives you a transition between two different um, frames and uh, in this case I went from alligators to crane birds in a wildlife uh, video all right um, as you can see that's um, how you would trim and split and add videos and add um, photos to your um, video that you're working with all right, this is Nick with Nick's Computer Fix. Hope you like my video tutorial. Subscribe and like my video.